All right, hopefully there's enough battery to catch this uh, whole operation. Um, what I'm going to do now is reconnect the screens and grab some new zip ties. And I'm going to grab the scissors quick. Battery on this camera is running low, so let's see how much I can catch. All right, so I just give the screens a little bit of a shake. Zip ties go in one, the little cuts in the screen. Slide it into the slot tube. Actually, easier to change to put the screen back on with this design I got here. This time I'm going to leave those long tails on because there's really no reason to get rid of them. There wasn't the other design. I can snip them off. This one I can just leave them sticking up. All right, I've got the black zip ties to keep the uh, water from dripping out of the box. It's kind of like a, you, know, you could use a rubber O-ring as what most people use. Uh, that's just what I chose to use. Uh, now, I'm going to put the screen back in. Let's see if I can, sorry for the jerking around, if I can get the angle right. Kind of tricky, I got to bend the screen over like this to get it into the box due to that miscalculation. But it's not that big of a deal after all. And then I just reconnect the union. Make sure the screen is vertical best it can. Make sure it's actually coming out of the tube straight, and then I grab the other end of the pipe, tighten it down, double check the screen. Oh. Twisted it a little bit. And, uh, oh, got to put the pipes back in. And this pipe goes over here. The pipe. A little too close to the tripod here. Actually, move the tripod. It's just friction fit. And then I release the hounds. Get the light on here to 
Whew, sorry about the blind in here. Let's see what's going on. Right? This even flow across the screen, except for you can see that it's a little heavy on the right side. Green tube number one, green tube number two, it's already starting to fog up. That's what happens when you uh, fire this sucker up. I just... Oops. I very carefully rotate these uh, back in place. The so reflectors are you know, clamped onto the bulbs. So if you rotate the reflectors, sometimes you rotate the bulbs. Uh, those ice cap end caps are pretty good at making contact with the bulb. If it's in there, you're making contact with it. All right, and that's it. I started this. The first video I started at 8.30, it is now 9.01. This whole process, including moving the video camera around and uh, talking to you and sending it up and everything like that, took half an hour. That's all I do once a week on this tank. No other maintenance equipment. Here's the sump. Live rock covering up the pump head for you know, these bags of purge that are in there. So I guess there is a little bit of mechanical equipment. That's it. This tank is about as simple as it gets.